hey guys welcome back to my channel thanks for watching thanks for subscribing i am here today with a requested tutorial and this tutorial is um just changing the measurements of an old tutorial that i did and this is for a the notebook holder um that i did years ago i'll put it in the description box and that notebook was three by five and somebody messaged me on that video and said they could only find the three and a half by five and could i do a tutorial for that um yeah absolutely so uh, i figured that we will do the tutorial um like this so that way you can see from start to finish how i figured these things out now the original original idea for this notebook holder was from the paper pixel paper pixie lady um i think it's just paper pixie yeah paper pixie and um i altered the measurements to fit the notebook that i had and i added pockets um but the actual notebook holder was her christmas um notebook holder thing and I, like i said i just altered the measurements so um and that's what we're doing again today now, I didn't have a three and a half by five notebook and I'm too sick to go anywhere to do anything. So I just made my own. Um, <clears throat> I just took some regular printer copy paper, cut it to three and a half by five. Then you take your hot glue gun and with an appropriate heat tool, don't use your fingers, um, you put a bead of hot glue here and then you just scrape it off until all of your pages are attached and if you have like little crazy like bumps and stuff like this, um, all you have to do is do the same process. Um, put the hot glue, use an appropriate heat tool and like a, a spatula, like a, a metal spatula, your um, silicone mat, something that's not going to burn your fingers. Okay. Nobody try to sue me. I, I can't. Um, just wipe it off. So heat it up, wipe it off. That's all you're doing. Um, I'm going to keep this notebook for myself, and so I didn't care how it looked, to be honest, okay? So, and then what I did is I just glued a piece of um, cardstock on the back. And you can see where my glue, my hot glue got a little chunky on the back, but that's okay. All right, so and this is how I figure these things out. I always draw my boxes. Um, that's just that's just how I start. Um, you guys have seen my template for um, my weekly box series. It's the same thing. It's just we won't be doing extra um, score lines. Um, as you can see here, I was doing a folio. Same thing. I just kind of envision what I want it to look like and draw it out. So anyway, so we know that this notebook is three and a half by five, right? So I wanna give it a quarter of an inch so that way there's a little bit of room between the notebook and the edges. And so I'm gonna make my measurements um, three and three fourths by five and a quarter. That's what I want my measurements, okay? Um, obviously you can do the measurements however you want, but that's what I'm going with. So my three panels are going to be three and three quarters because, you know, when you fold your book, it'll work out. Now, my hinges, I don't think the notebook is going to be bigger than a half an inch. Um, I don't know if the three by five notebook is just one notebook or it's that big old thick stack like what I had in the video. And you just peel off, you know, as much as you want. Um, but we're going to do the same thing, too. We're just going to make this half an inch. Um, obviously if your notebook is bigger than half an inch here, then you need to adjust your measurements accordingly. Now I can already tell this is going to be bigger than a 12 by 12 piece of paper. So we're going to need two sheets of paper. I can already tell that. Um, but you know, you're definitely going to math it out. So calculator, math, whatever you want to do, 3.75 plus 0.5 plus 3.75 plus 0.5 plus 3.75 equals. Um, so we need a pay, piece of paper that is 12 and a quarter 
by five, that's a five and a quarter. <clears throat> so we already know it's too big, unless you have those big sheets of paper. I, I don't. So we're gonna we need to break this down into two sections, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just pretend like everything to the right of my pinky is not there. So we're just gonna do a first section. So three and three quarters plus three and three quarters plus a half, that's four, eight, All right? That couldn't have been that easy. 3.75 plus 0.5 plus 3.75, it was that easy. All right, so I need two pieces of paper that are eight by five and a quarter. And on the long side, we're gonna score it at three and three quarters. And we're gonna add a half an inch. You can calculate it, or this is how I do it on the ruler. Three and three quarters, adding a half an inch would be four and a quarter. And, and that's it. Okay, that's it. So let's go ahead and get our paper out. And I'm gonna cross this out so we don't get confused. All right, so you can actually still get one of these notebooks out of one sheet of paper. So that's nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down on the short side to eight. That worked out perfectly by um, five and a quarter. So five and a quarter and five and a quarter because you need both pieces, right? Okay, so now we need to go ahead and do our score. You're gonna do the same exact score on both. So three and three quarters. and four and a quarter. So that should make both of these sides three and three quarter. Let's double check. Three and three quarters and three and three quarters. So we mapped it correctly. So do the same, <clears throat> both the long sides. You're gonna um, go th um, three and three quarters. We're scoring and four and a quarter. Okay, and that's it. Now, what you're gonna do is go ahead and burnish your, your paper and make sure that it's lined up correctly. For some reason, mine is not. Do the same on that side. Why are my pages not right? Same thing with this piece. And that piece. Okay. So, now that you have your two pieces like this, open it up like so, and we are literally gluing that right on top of it. Okay, so you can use glue, you can use tape. I'm using glue, maybe. I'm just using these little stainless steel pins that I got from Amazon to unclog my glue. And I put them in a little Tic Tac container so I know where they always are and I don't step on them or, you know, whatever. Oh gosh. All right, so I'm just coming right up to that score line. We're not gonna go over it. We're not gonna go on it. Because you still need to be able to close your um, book, right? So right up to that score line. If you can't trust yourself, then just fold it in and make sure that that page is not on that score line. That's it. Alright. So now you have your folder. 
your folio. It's like a folio. That's it. Speaking of folios, I'm going to have a series of folios in November on Fridays. Um, that's what I was working on over here. Some different folios I've been coming up with. So you guys will see that in November. Planning ahead, guys. I'm, I'm going to be on time. <laughs> All right, so now we just need to add our pockets and we need to add um, our belly band and whatnot. So, um, pockets and belly band. Now, the other notebook just worked out perfectly that with our cuts, you had extra paper left over that you could use for your closure, your belly band, and your pockets. We weren't as lucky this time because it is bigger, so you got to use your scraps or whatever. Um, just determine how thick you want your pockets. Um, this is by five and a quarter. So I want my pocket to be about here. Let's see what that measurement is. Two inches. All right. So cut your paper at um, three and five eighths. So that is the tick. That is the tick mark right before the three and three quarters. The reason why I do that is because I want my pocket to be smaller than the page. So that way I don't have to worry about it going over the score line, going off the edge or whatever. So just here's three and three fourths. Just move it to the right, you know, that the long tick mark. So um, three and five eighths, okay? By two and a half. Um, three and five eighths by two and a half. And then you're going to score it on all three sides at half an inch. No, we're not doing that. It needs to be four and five eighths. Um, because right now, my pocket will be too small. Again, correct measurements will be in the description box. All right, four and five eighths by two and a half. See, I'm human. All right, now we want to go ahead and score it on three sides, a half an inch. And we need two of these. So two. All right. Two and a half by four and five eighths. Oops. And then score it on three sides. So you're going to score it once on the short side and twice on the long to make your pocket. like so and then our pockets I'm just gonna use glue normally I use score tape but um, I'm just gonna use glue <coughs> excuse me okay so you can mat your um, which come first I typically don't um, I because I don't want to use a full piece of paper that is just gonna be covered by a pocket so um, do your preference. We do need to miter our pockets. Okay. And then we're going to take our glue and we're just going to glue our pocket down. Okay. And we're going to come right up to that first score line. We're not going to go over it. And like I said, there's plenty of room here to give yourself a border so you're not touching the um, score line and you're not touching the edge with that pocket, okay? 
and I like to have a tiny little border at the bottom. You can go all the way to the bottom of your page if you want, and that's just your preference. Okay, we're gonna take our second pocket, we're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna miter, you're gonna add your score tape or you're gonna glue. Um, I'm making sure that they're not touching each other, the two flaps. This one kind of is, so I'm just going to cut off just a little bit more. It's just unnecessary bulk. Okay. Some glue. I'm so used to putting my glue over here to the right that it was over here to the left and it messed me all up. All right, and we're going to put it on the last panel. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now, you can choose what type of closure you want. Um, oh, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Belly band. Okay. So, belly band, we're going to do the same thing. It's going to be four and five eighths by... One and I'm gonna do one and a half. I'm just making that measurement up. Let me see how it looks. You just need your belly band thick enough to fit the paper. All right, four and five eighths. Okay, and we're gonna score it on two sides at half an inch. Rotate it, score it a half an inch. Okay. So, belly band. Um, long side, half an inch, both sides. Okay. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and glue or tape that down in the center if you want. Um, I typically put mine in the center. I've seen some people put it at the bottom. I've seen some people put it at the top. It really doesn't matter because it's just going to hold your notebook. So here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, we made it small enough to where you see I just dropped it. I don't have to worry about my score lines because I already know it's not going to go over. And I'm looking for a varnishing tool. Here we go. Varnish that in really well. And let it dry. Okay, so now your inside is done. You just have to map. You can take your notebook and you can put it in now. You can put it in later. Um, oh, you know what? See how it fits perfectly. Um, there's a couple little tips and tricks I can tell you right now um, if you want you can mat before you put your belly band um, sometimes I do sometimes I don't sometimes I'll just take you know a piece of okay like this paper and I will just go right up to that border and just kind of paper piece that way you're not using up your um, full sheets of paper. You can use up your scraps, right? Or you can go ahead and cut your scraps down to where it will fit in your belly band. Um, it's really up to you how you want to do it. Same thing. This is what I was talking about with my pocket. Oh, it's perfect size. This is how I would do mine. Just so I'm not wasting that whole sheet of paper on the bottom. Okay. Um, there you go so you're essentially done other than decorating except for your closures okay now if you want this to be like a true folio then you're gonna add magnets okay you're gonna add a magnet here um, and you're probably gonna add a magnet here and then close your book okay or if you want it to open, it don't matter which way it opens. And that's where you're going to do your magnets. Either there or there, or you can do a magnet here and here. And then close your book that way. Okay? It doesn't matter. Um, you can do a ribbon closure. 
where you'll just glue, I don't have ribbon, you'll glue your ribbon around your book, whichever way you want your flaps to go. So if you want to go this way, you're going to glue it around and have extra hanging out here so you can close it that way. Um, or you can do a paper closure um, where basically you just take whatever piece of paper you want, you glue it to the back and you have it come around here and you attach it with Velcro or a magnet or yeah, Velcro or magnet really. <clears throat> so my original um, tutorial had a paper closure with a Velcro. So those are all optional. I'm not going to do any closure on this one. Um, I don't need it. Okay. You can do fancy stuff. You can round your corners. Um, yes, you can round a pocket corner. I will show you that. I mean, as long as you have like a strong enough corner rounder, it'll cut through all of that. So if you want to have rounded corners, that will be gorgeous too. It's up to you. Or, you know, if you have the corner chompers with the different designs, you can different design it. Whatever you want. Then you're just going to decorate it. And you're just going to add your pad of paper. Homemade or store-bought. And you're done. Now, another tip. If you're finding that your belly band is too loose, or like when, you're, when you used up your pad of paper, it's too loose, you can always just add what I call a bumper, okay? A bumper is just a, a little piece of scrapbook paper or cardstock or um, a sticker, something that you can just add like a piece of foam tape to. So say I want this as my bumper. And just a little cute little red piece of paper, right? I'm going to take... Um, some foam tape just a little piece and put it towards the bottom of my bumper whatever I decided it was my bumper this case is gonna be this put it the full length or actually you can just do this if you want but I would put it the full length and you're gonna put it down at the bottom of your <clears throat> where your notebook goes. Now, this will prevent your notebook from falling out. So see, my bumper will stop it. It won't fall out. And I'm shaking it vigorously. It won't fall out because it's getting caught up in that bumper. Okay? Um, you know, it's annoying when you have Say you used all of these papers and you just have this little bit and, oh, maybe a little less. I did my belly band really well. It's going to fall out if you don't have that bumper. Let me show you upside down so you can see it falling out. So it's just going to go straight out. See that? It fell through because I only had, you know, 10 pages or less left in there so <clears throat> if you only have 10 pages or less and you have the bumper it gets stuck in the bumper and it doesn't fall out okay so there you go um obviously you're gonna have to make your bumper so your notebook fits all the way down but really the bumper is only there for when you only have a few pieces of paper left but anyway you know add whatever you want to your pockets You know, decorate your belly band. There you go. Super cute. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.